what it is a what's up i was scrolling through tiktok the other day you know like my usual nine hours and i came across this item at in and out in and out is like all over the west side of the united states i want to find out why so it says the reason for the west coast clustering is the burger chain's strict dedication to freshness and their policy states that in and out burger locations must be within 300 miles of one of their meal distribution centers currently located in only california and texas so if you live in the never eat soggy then you probably never had in and out unless you're on vacation people say whenever they try it they're rather disappointed me personally i was disappointed but then you have it a couple times and it gets addicting like cigarettes no one likes their first cigarette anyways i was scrolling on tiktok for nine hours the other day like one does insert tiktok here it's a burger wrapped in onion it's gonna make your breath smell terrible but maybe it tastes great it's called the flying dutchman the Flying Dutchman at In-N-Out is the most interesting meal on the secret menu. The Flying Dutchman is two beef patties sandwiched around two slices of cheese. There's no lettuce, no wrapper, and no bun. So the Flying Dutchman is when it has no bun, but people are adding grilled onion wrapped around it. It doesn't even have a name. I'm going to have to just order that and look like a crazy person. But it's been going viral like less than a week ago. Also, I thought, hey, why don't we keep the secret menu going and I'll get the Neapolitan shake, which is chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. You could order each one, but you can ask for all three of them together. And animal style fries, which is pretty much like all the toppings on a burger on your fries. That's all secret menu item items. And joining us is a very special guest. Whoa, Mr. Sugar Yummy. How you doing, Sugar? Look at this little rat. Ugh. Say hi, Shug. I'm gonna get you a burger patty, okay? What do I taste like? What I hate is that every time you go to In-N-Out, it will be like a 30 minute wait to even get your food. It's because they make each patty fresh. Like, dude, just give me a frozen one. I want my food. Can I get the Neapolitan shake? And then I saw this thing on the TikTok. What? Wow, yeah, I'll take one of those bad boys. Animal fries and a beef patty for the kiddo. Did you guys hear that? He knew exactly what I wanted. I didn't even have to say it. This is the fast food hype right now. Here we are, the newest, most popular item at In-N-Out, the grilled onion Dutchman style boogie. Thank you so much. You as well. So look right here. This is true to In-N-Out. At every single In-N-Out, there's crossing palm trees. You'll never see an In-N-Out where there isn't. It's crazy. One thing that's really special about In-N-Out is that when you're in the drive-thru, they ask if you want to eat it in the car, which a lot of people do. A lot of people have a busy day. They prepare it like this so you can eat it in the car. Isn't that cool? We got Sugar's Dog Patty. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Come on, one bite. One bite. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right here, we have our animal style fries. Look at those. It's like every topping on a burger on your fries. Also right here, we have our onion wrapped flying Dutchman, the most popular fast food item right now, all over TikTok and our Neapolitan shake. These are all on the secret menu. You have to order them. They will not be on the menu, but everyone will know what you're talking about. That's why I like it now. They know what you're talking about. You go to McDonald's, you ask for the Mick gang bang and they look at you like you're crazy. I wonder if it looks Neapolitan. Oh, it kind of does. Look at that. You see the pink, you see the chocolate, you see the vanilla. Oh, wow. Sometimes when you drink a shake, you just gotta shake it up yourself. So, you know, the ice really gets around because it gets melted all over, you know? The Neapolitan shake. Oh. Okay, the strawberry makes it kind of taste like banana. I know that sounds weird, but yeah, they're both fruit. Mm. It's so good. Like, you'd think that mixing three random flavors together wouldn't taste good or wouldn't taste what you think it would taste like, but it does taste like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Like, it tastes exactly like that. Oh my God. If you go to In N Out, I highly recommend you get a Neapolitan shake. It's better than chocolate, it's better than vanilla, it's better than the strawberry. Just all three together is just chef's kiss. I'm gonna have to say that this is a four out of five. Before we get into the most popular fast food item in the nation, let's get into the animal fries. Now, I am a slut for nacho fries, especially from Taco Bell. Let's see how this compares to that. So, as you can see, there's fries, American cheese, grilled onions, and secret sauce. The only thing I don't like about animal style fries is that it really all comes together, and you're gonna see. Oh my god, big bite. Oh, one more. I have to go in for one more bite. Oh my God. See, it all clumps together. It's because the American cheese, it starts getting room temperature and it just starts solidifying. Look at that. I think if they used nacho cheese, it would be way better. American cheese doesn't have that much flavor. The only thing good for is on burgers. Oh, you eating it, buddy? I saw you sniffing it. Oh yeah, he got his puppy burger. He's having a good day. Woo! 
Back to what I was saying. I think they're a nice staple. They're definitely something that everyone should try. They're not something I would go back to all the time and crave. I much, 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 much rather would prefer Taco Bell's nacho fries. And that's a goddamn fact. This is a two out of five, actually. It's not that much of an enjoyable eating experience. I mean, look at it, dude. It looks like slop. This is the moment that you have all been waiting for. The viral TikTok sensation, the onion wrapped burger. Oh my, oh my God, onions flying, onions flying. Oh my God, this is an onion wrapped burger. It is viral on TikTok. Here we go, here we go. Wow, it's actually pretty good. That bite was even better. It is messy. I mean, when you pick it up, you can't really put it down. Like, you gotta finish it. But it is tasty. As you can see, you really gotta get a good grip on there. I can get behind this. I like it. But you know what? I would never order it again. It's more something to try because you saw it trending. Unless you're on f***ing keto. Yeah, no, I missed the bun. I'm gonna need a goddamn bun on my burger. Look, my hands are all wet. I mean, it's definitely a one out of five experience. I'm a firm believer in when you eat, you gotta have fun when you do it. And look at this it did looks like i just swiped under my armpit i mean i think any burger at any restaurant is gonna taste good even without the bun because it's a goddamn burger last bites you know what i have a rating in mind okay you're gonna need more napkins than this oh my god my hands are a mess this is disgusting now this rating comes to my brain because the eating experience is terrible you're literally manhandling a raw burger wrapped in grilled onions and it's just soaking your fingers i don't know about you guys but when i'm going out to eat i want to enjoy it yes it tastes good but i mean any burger patty is gonna taste good the thing is with the bun it could taste better like it could taste better dude like a chipotle bowl that ain't sh compared to the burrito let's be honest i'm gonna have to say that's a two out of five it's weird i don't like it you know it's interesting i mean it's only good for you if you're on keto which you're like already miserable anyway so why not there you have it i think that the in and out secret menu as a whole is a three out of five it would be a two out of five without the neapolitan shake the neapolitan shake really drives her home baby this thing's good as fuck. the animal fries the flying dutchman wrapped onion piece of sh it's just not interesting. It's just not enjoyable. Neither of them are enjoyable. Like the animal fries, you literally like put your fork in, you get the whole goddamn thing. It like, sticks together with American cheese. I don't like it. This is the only thing that's keeping the secret menu alive right here, baby. The Neapolitan motherfucking shake. Ah, orgasmic. So this begs the question, is In-N-Out worth it? Is it worth waiting in a line of 100 cars? I say yes and no. Yes, if you want to try it for the first time, no after that. Like my cousins from England came and I let them try it. I thought that was a good thing to do. But after that, no. So there you have it. If you want to be here live in the comment section while I make these videos, then go to twitch.tv slash Jake Weber and turn on my notifications so you never miss a stream. Shop my merch right here. It's beautiful. You need to get it. NoNameOfficial.com and stream my music. Love you guys so much. Bye.